everyone, we're going to determine whether f of x grows faster, slower, or at the same rate as g of x. We have f of x equals log base 2 of x squared, and g of x equals ln of x. We're going to explain using limits. And we're looking at these conditions. I'll just put 1, 2, and 3 for relative rates of growth. So let's set it up. Basically, we're looking at the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x divided by g of x. And we're going to see if it equals 0, infinity, or a constant uh, value that doesn't equal uh, 0. So let's substitute in. I'm going to write this as the limit as x approaches infinity. I'm going to use my power rule for logs and bring this in front. Uh, so we'll have 2 times log base 2 of x divided by ln of x. All right, and next thing I want to do is go ahead and do a change of base here and write this in terms of natural log. So this is going to equal the limit as x approaches infinity of 2 uh, times and the change of base formula is just ln of x divided by ln of 2. And then we're dividing by ln of x. All right, so basically I can just move this up here. Um, and this is going to give us the limit as x approaches infinity of 2 times ln of x. This would be like 2 divided by 1 here. And then um, we're going to have ln of x times ln of 2. Now what happens now we can apply the limit. This cancels out. So we get our limit is 2 divided by ln of 2, which is uh, the limit that's a fixed uh, number that's not equal to 0. So that means that g of x and f of x grow at the same rate. So you would say that f of x grows at the same rate as g of x. So it's number 3. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.